Hey guys, welcome to Draw My Awesome, or I should say, Above Average Life. Let's get right into it. So, I was born on June 18th, 1987, and I'm half white and I'm half black. Uh, going into my parents, however, we have my dad, who is amazing, and he's got a mustache, but amazing, like amazing mustache, and my mom, and she's really awesome too, but they were both white, and two whites don't make a mix, so how does that actually work? Well, it turns out that I am adopted, and because of that, I am not like all the rest of my family, but they all love me other anyways, and I love them, so everyone is awesome. Now, I grew up in a town called Two Mountains, even though I've never seen Two Mountains there, and when I was four years old, I met one of my best friends, Matt, or Matthew. He was a tiny little guy, but he always acted super cool, so I asked him if we could be friends, and he's like, yes, and we've been friends for 20 plus years. That's pretty amazing. Now, I went to a French school, and that was really awesome, but the French kids were not, especially during the separatism movement. So when I would go to school, it was pretty bad. You'd make, be made fun of or anything like that, especially uh, the N-word also. I guess when you're the closest thing to a, a black person for 100 miles, you kind of get that, but uh, whatever. Now, what was really bad, however, is that one day I was playing in, uh, outside in the courtyard with, during recess, and this French kid that I didn't know just started hearing me speak English, so I don't know his name, so he gets an evil little top hat. And he's like, English? No! And he threw like a huge piece of glass and it hit me directly in the face. And because of that now, my left eye is always kind of closed and that's my little self-conscious uh, item about me. So, yeah. After that, I asked my mom if I could switch to an English school. And she's like, yes! And because of that, my grades went up, uh, my confidence went up, I even had more friends. I even got a dog, but it was a French dog. Uh, we call him Copain, and uh, that's friend, so, or buddy. And he did, uh, he never barked in French, but whatever. When that was all done, however, I guess my YouTube requirement number 42 was met because my parents got a divorce. So that was all said and done. Me and my mom, we moved to the big city of Montreal, specifically in NDG. While my dad stayed in uh, Two Mountains for a year or two before moving into uh, the big city as well. Now, in high school, this was crazy for me because there were buses and people that I'd never met before. It was like so many extra people, way too much for me. But in year two, I met my two best friends, Steve and Dan. Steve never swore, ever. He would use like words like fudgicle or fang dangle, it was pretty funny. And then I met him because of our uh, love for Dragon Ball Z. So he's like, Aah! Now for me, high school was neither positive nor negative. You know, I wasn't the nerd or the jock or cool or anything. I was just kind of there. But when I graduated, which was really funny, is that I graduated with honors, which I still don't get to this day because I don't remember being like an amazing student or working really hard or anything. So I was just really happy that I got something for doing nothing. And I went to CJEP wanting to go into law and be helpful. And that's what I started off with. And it was also a really good uh, ability for me to meet more people and start talking a lot more. That's what I thought lawyers did. But I actually turned out to be just funny. And one girl uh, found me really funny and uh, we started going out. Um, that didn't last though. However, what did last for that was that during that time, I wore a cowboy hat, like all the time at school. And people got a huge kick out of it. And I loved that people were getting a big kick out of it. So you could call this one of the first moments where I knew that I enjoyed entertaining people. Um, however, what did suck was is that I was like, law, I'm writing reports and projects and what I would do for jobs, it, it all sucked. And what didn't help was that me and my dad worked in the same place. He was a butcher uh, for 25 years and I started being a butcher and I had new ideas so I would always argue with him and he'd be like, just do it the way I want it. I'm like, no, and we'd fight all the time. But uh, we'd always go to Timmy's afterwards and make up and our, our relationship got a lot better. Now, however, uh, my dad started uh, seeing someone, her name was Mary and uh, I did not deal with this very well. Uh, I thought we were losing our connection, and I said some pretty mean things to her um, for a lot for a long time. It took me a long time to uh, get over that, but I apologized, and my dad's happy. I moved back to Two Mountains um, 
at some point uh, through all of this. <laughs> and I re-met uh, re my friend uh, Corey and uh, my friend Shauna. And I would drive them around, like everywhere. I don't know why, I just was the driver. And these two would be together and broke up and together. I don't know, it was a pain. But at the end of all of that, however, I decided let me try being a bartender because that's random and awesome. But what was really cool is that I sucked at it, but I was really able to, well, okay, shut up, fine. Uh, the customers loved me um, and always thought I was really funny. So again, another moment for me to uh, feel awesome. But I wasn't satisfied with that and I thought there had to be more. So I took a vacation and I flew myself to Vancouver for a vacation. And okay, well, I didn't actually fly myself. I, I took a plane though. Flying would have been really, really cool. And there, there were real mountains. Like, oh my God, they're, they're not just mystical items. And while I was there, I just, one day I, I just sat there and I saw the, on the beach and the water was beautiful and the sunset was amazing and mountains were everywhere. And I'm like, this is so amazing. I want to live here, like I made the balls. So when I went back and flew back home, I told my mom that I'm moving to British Columbia. And she's like, you know what? I'm gonna come too. So we flew and moved out here. But before that, with all my friends, uh, I had one last meeting with everyone. And with Steve, uh, I gave him a big bro fist. And Dan let me crash on his couch for the last few days. And Shauna gave me like the biggest squeeze ever. And Matt, well, Matt wasn't too happy. And we didn't talk for a few years. Um, so when I landed there, I started going into an emergency medical responder, but that really didn't work out all that much. So I started doing a job uh, as over the phone and doing tech support, and that really sucked. So I started looking for other more consistent work, and I found a vitamins company that wanted uh, someone who spoke French. And I'm like, sure, I can speak French. It's a bonus, finally. Uh, that only lasted 10 months, though. Um, so I decided and I went to work for the Olympics hiring bodyguards and security guards but the people that I worked with there were uh, like droolers that's the way I could put it the worst thing that I saw there however was a girl she asked for a French pamphlet and the boss on site was like no we don't offer French and I'm like are you f kidding me this is bull crap everyone should be able to learn so after all that, I left that and I started working for a bank. And this is where I met my buddy Eros. He's, uh, I can't draw him, oh well. But he's Brazilian, he taught me all these Portuguese words. And I was like, oh, this is amazing, I'm learning new words. And after that, however, is that we would always joke around and we, uh, you know, he would tell me I was funny and maybe I should join competitions and do stuff. But me, I was like, no thank you, I'm funnier on one one but there was this uh do you have talent got talent work edition uh and i went up and i did stand up and everyone saw it was amazing and laughed so i felt awesome too and i got first place awesome but after a year i never did anything with it but in that year i met my first long-term girlfriend she had big boobies <laughs> and everything was good. I had money, I had a car, everything was coming up CJ. That's my name, by the way. <laughs> but she left and just kind of disappeared out of my life one day. And uh, I was pretty upset, you know? I, I was like, why am I even here? What am I doing? Nothing really matters. So I took a vacation. I went to Jamaica. It was awesome. There was the beach and it was sunny and there were drinks everywhere and I was on the floor often and there were girls and they all found me so hilarious. I don't know why I made them look like Dream Rocket, but anyways, it was awesome. It did great for me. When I got back, Eros asked me if I wanted to MC uh, an event for work and I'm like, yes, I totally want to. So when I started doing the emceeing, I just, you know, I, I killed it. People were laughing so hard and this waitress I never knew just came up to me and told me I was funny and cute. So I leveled up my confidence. And because of that, one month later, I joined this website and it's called YouTube. And it's amazing, but I didn't know what to name it. So I went back to my life. And when I was seven years old, I won an award and the little dick of a principal couldn't say my last name and he went and called me Ram a Cherry. Yeah, so because of that I decided, you know what, I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna make it something awesome. Cherry Rammer. Take that, you stupid memory. 
And now I, I know that I can do whatever I want to do ever since I started it. You know, I feel amazing about it. I'm more confident. I'm outgoing. I'm hilarious. Bing! And, you know, it's all thanks to you and, you know, my family and everyone that's really important in my life. Because if I wasn't for all these people, uh, I would never actually have the confidence to put myself out there. So really guys, that's what I have to say. This wasn't filmed in front of a live studio audience and I don't know why you would think it would be. Peace.